Why do you think it's in here? Let's find out now. Basically, I bought the new tripod. It's from KNF Concept. It's a new carbon fiber tripod, very light. And uh, it comes in this beautiful box. But the most important is what's inside the box. So uh, let's find out now. First out of the box is this uh, carrying case with a really nice branding on it. It has a strap that you can basically adjust and to carry it all around. But the most important is what's inside of this. So let's find out. So inside of the carrying case is this beautiful tripod because this is the most important part of the pack. Uh, I'm really impressed with the fact that it's very small, but very, very light. And this is precisely what I was looking for. And um, to make a test, uh, uh, it was written online that it's 1,000 grams, 1,000 and something grams. So I have here, I have here a scale. And now it indicates zero, yeah? So we're gonna put the tripod to make it, to verify what's the weight of it. So it's 1,000, 23 grams so basically it's slightly uh, more than one kilo it doesn't disturb me 22 grams you cannot even feel it the reason why I purchased this is because uh, it perfectly fits in my backpack well I cannot show you the the functions of it that's why we have to uh, dive into another scenario so here we go let's talk a bit about the, the uh, head of the tripod it's a nice branding over here and on this side there are these uh, uh, degrees you have this bar this screw over here if you unscrew it yeah it goes really really smooth it goes 360 degrees you have here a mark and you can go really really precise with it yeah so as you can see it goes 360 don't forget to lock this down yeah uh, let's move it like this yeah here even though it's plastic because it has to uh, to keep the tripod very light if you unscrew this on the, the, the top basically moves and you can po po uh, place it also um, on portrait mode basically. What I like about it that here on top it has uh, this bubble, uh, bubble level, yeah? And it has, I don't know what to call it, I think it's a compass, if I'm not wrong. This one that indicates northwest, uh, especially for traveling. Uh, even though this part, this top part is uh, made from plastic, I think it had, they had to make it plastic to keep the tripod very light. Uh, it's quite solid. The only thing that I don't like, and I admit that I don't like, is the quick release. You see this part over here? It ha it's only on one side, this channel. It, 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 you cannot place it, you cannot place it uh, like this, basically. There is only one way you can place it. And uh, here on top it has this rubber, uh, not for your camera not to flip. All the time make sure that you lock it back properly. How do you remove the ball head? Basically hold this part and just rotate it. And one thing that I did is super cool. It's just a regular screw, but here I really want to show you this. Even this uh, screw has a hole in it to make the tripod lighter. And this is how you put it back. Make sure all the time you keep like you keep it like this, and you lock it properly. It's a really compact tripod. You can see this is the length of my arm. To make a comparison, and this is the uh, I would say another minimum size of it. But how do you pack it? Basically, to unlock the legs, you just have to pull this one out and just go with the legs like this. This is, this is the, the thing that I like the most about this tripod, that you can fold it very, very quickly. The other side as well, and this side also. Don't forget when you, when, when you wanna, wanna unfold it, that here you have to do like this to top get the, the middle part down. And here we go. In a regular day, I think I folded and folded for eight times. So this is why it's really helpful for me just to just because it goes really, really fast. When you unfold it, don't forget to lock uh, the pins, pins, seals. I don't know what to call them. Yep. So basically it's like this. Um, how do you make it uh, longer? How do you make it shorter? 
here on top you have this one and uh, you have the other the other part that goes like this all right the legs have four sections it's one two three four and you just have to open you will feel that is a kind of a safety seal and just go 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 and you will make it will get uh, it will the legs will expand what i what i like a lot about this one is just i do like this i do all four at the same time and i just unfold them and they go really really fast here on the bottom they have this hook with a, a spring and all the time when I take pictures I attach uh, the, the backpack uh, which is quite heavy to make it more stable. Um, uh, present about uh, this tripod, with, besides that it's <laughs> very light, uh, what's the maximum height? So to unfold the legs I usually do like this with my arm and I just go like this super fast and then I put these ones, I uh, lock them. Yeah, with the other hand I do like this and and done. Because I want to save time with the other tripod I can't do the same thing. Mine all the time to lock this because otherwise you, you might end up with a camera on the floor. Yeah, so it's done. And now we have two options here to make it taller. One, as I said, make sure you lock it properly. And there's another one. And uh, I want one, uh, it's like 1.6 meters, something like this, probably 1.55. But mind, when you use it like this, I would suggest to put something here on the bottom to hold it, uh, to make it more sturdy because uh, otherwise it moves just a bit. And uh, my suggestion is if you use it uh, uh, while you're traveling and you take uh, uh, landscapes and uh, you use it on the mountains or hills or something like this, to put something on the bottom because it's very windy and you might end up with uh, the camera, with your camera on the floor. So guys, I hope you found this uh, review helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, I've atta I attach a link to this product, an Amazon link, and uh, see you in the next video.